In this video, we are going to talk about 10 European rulers who were actually black. So before starting this video, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. All you've ever heard is that Europe is a land ruled by white people and that black skinned people are immigrants there. Unless you're a historian, you probably take this as a fact, or you may not have ever thought about it. Either way, there have been rulers that were black. And in this video, we are going to look at 10 of them. In cases where there are shortage of evidences of the rulers being black, the nomenclature can assist by indicating what they look like. Without further ado, let's look at the 10 black rulers that led in Europe. Number 10, Cadmus. We wanted to start the list off with someone that has had a major impact on Europe, allegedly. A figure of Greek mythology who got into history books primarily by taking the Phoenicians' alphabet and adapting it to form the written language of the Greeks. He is considered the founder of Thebes, an important city in ancient Greece, probably named after the original city of Thebes in ancient Africa. According to Greek mythology, he was the son of Agenor, a Chemite from Memphis in Africa, son of Poseidon. His mother, Telephassa, was the daughter of Nihilus deity of the river Nile in Africa. So based on his lineage, he was a descendant of Africans in a time when Greeks described their gods as well as the Chemites or ancient Egyptians as very dark skinned people. Number nine, Europa. For the next figure, we stay in ancient Greece and even in Cadmus' family. Europa, who was Cadmus' sister and one of someone you might have heard of wives, the infamous Zeus. Her blackness is proved through Cadmus' lineage since they were siblings. She was born in Phoenicia from the same African parents. According to Greek mythology, while in Phoenicia, Zeus saw her Astonished by her beauty, he turned into a white ox and approached her. He kidnapped her and took her to his land, where she became queen. It is believed that the continent of Europe was named after her. It may be a bit hard to believe today, but the European continent is named after a black queen. Please don't forget to miss the number one, because it is going to blow up your mind. Number eight, Hannibal Barca. Let's head out of Greek mythology and look at a more recent and perhaps a more well-known historical figure. The famous Hannibal Barca. Born in Carthage or present-day Tunisia in Africa around 247 BC, he was the son of Hamilcar Barca, a Carthaginian general at the time. As the son of a general, Hannibal was bound to take hold of the military defend and preserve his land and conquer others. And that was the case when he went to war with the Roman Empire, actually in a series of them, more popular known as the Punic Wars. He is known for his crossing of the Europe Alps using African elephants. At first, victory was on his side and he managed to defeat Roman forces and even reached Rome's capital. At this point in time, he ruled over present day Spain he was about to defeat the mighty Roman Empire. But unfortunately, because of his patience, he let the Romans recover from their defeats. They recovered their land and forced Hannibal into exile. Later on, Hannibal will commit suicide rather than surrender to the Romans. The proofs of him being an African, aside from his birthplace, include a coin minted in Italy with his face on it. And that face was a black African man. Number seven, Danus. Danus was born, unlike the explorer rulers of his time, not in Phoenicia, but in Kemet in Africa. He was the king of Libya in Africa and was the son of King Belus. He had two brothers, Egyptus, king of Arabia, and Cepheus, king of Ethiopia. This was a way for the Greeks to show the common origins of Libyans. Egyptians and Nubians, who are even considered as sons of Ham, father of all blacks in the Bible. So we have enough evidence to affirm that he was indeed black and African, according to the Greeks. According to Greek mythology, Danus is thought to have ruled the city of Argos in present-day Greece. Egyptus, Danus' brother, 
had 50 sons and Danis had 50 daughters. Egyptius proposed a plan to marry his sons to Danis' daughters, four of which were the daughters of Europa. Danis refused and fled to Argos, which was ruled by, at the time, by a king called Pelasgus. That king, oddly enough, was succeeded by none other than Danis. It is also believed by some that the Argi dynasty might have something to do with Danis, meaning that he might be an ancestor to Philip of Macedon, whose son is none other than Alexander the Great. So, Danis the African was a very distant ancestor to Philip of Macedon and his son Alexander the Great. Before we proceed, we would like you to know that in ancient and medieval Europe, people who had a different skin color were named after terms that explained that their skin was black. Some rulers in this list are, aside from their official name, known as and were called Moors, meaning they were from the North and Western Africa. Others, especially in Roman Empire, were named Niger or Afer, words that mean black. The word Afer might also be a root word for the naming of the whole continent of Africa. Number six, Pessinius Niger. This emperor, is said to have been the first black emperor